not even 125 years ago, we didn't have to ask the government permission to collect rainwater, to hunt, to fish, to start a business, to own a property, to build a home, renovate our home, to use a vehicle, to get married, to own a firearm, to grow food on our property, or to sell food. Now, we can do virtually nothing without being extorted by the government and asking their permission first. If you still think we're free, you're deluding yourself. We're free range humans who live on a tax farm. That is the truth. <clears throat> and it goes much deeper than that too, right? Here's the thing. People were born into this system so it doesn't seem unnatural to them. They haven't been alive for a thousand years and the majority of people don't really study the last thousand years. And they don't really understand the value of freedom and they don't care because they are already enslaved to the system. And they accept it in their own delusion as a way of coping with it, right? And um, <clears throat> come up with all of these different things to justify why <clears throat> they're participating in this slave system, including hating homeless people or hating people that are not enslaved by the system, people that may not be working or attached to a sin number or <clears throat> hate their lives and go to work every day to pay their rent and come home and be miserable and take it out on their on their family. Um, <clears throat> this is a system that is very unnatural that you are not supposed to be a part of naturally. <clears throat> the correct way to work, okay? So even biblically, people will try to use the Bible, you know, and, and talk about laziness and talk about <clears throat> what the consequences are of not working. But see, <clears throat> God did not intend for us to work under this system, under this dollar, under this tax system, under this sin number that is attached to you, which is a registry number that you belong to the government, to the system, that you were born in it, your birth certificate, your sin number. These are all identification numbers that indicate um, <clears throat> that you have been bought, that you are not of your own possession. Um, but it just seems like, oh, it's just, it's just a sin number, bro. Right? <clears throat> no. Here's the thing. You can't do anything outside of that sin number, outside of the dollar. You are enslaved to the dollar, enslaved to the system, enslaved to the government and their structure. And if you try to do anything outside of that structure, you will pay heavily for that. <clears throat> or you will be charged criminally, or you will just be stopped in your tracks, or they will charge you unbelievable amounts of money <laughs> to have access to something that already belongs to you the natural elements of the earth see they've stolen all of the natural elements of the earth that we rely on to survive and then sold it back to us plus taxed <laughs> and made a profit off of it <clears throat> the entire system is rigged so <clears throat> here's the thing about working we were never intended uh, god never intended us to work for this system okay working means working with land right and let me tell you it would be a lot, it would take a lot faster. <laughs> okay, they steal the land, they buy it all up, and then they say, you can't touch it unless you buy it off of us. Who makes you the government, the god of the land for them to do so? <clears throat> that is completely corrupt and illegal and against people's human rights completely. You should be able to literally go to any piece of land that's not purchased by an individual not belonging to an individual <clears throat> and be able to build on that property and grow your own food without having to pay the government for anything. It's none of their business and it has nothing to do with them. Okay. There's a million excuses, right. And a million systematic ways that, it, that try to convince why these systems need to be in place, <clears throat> but it's all an illusion. <clears throat> so, Here's the thing, I bet you I could go to a piece of land, grow a bunch of food, hunt, fish, build my own log cabin home. I could probably do all of this within a couple of years. There are people, okay, that have built their own homes 
okay, out of the logs that they cut down from the trees on their land, <laughs> okay, that had no prior um, education or experience in building, building log cabin homes, <clears throat> carpentry, or anything like that. And they built their own log cabin home by cutting down logs, skinning them, cutting notches in them, reading a book or two, watching some videos, and learning how to piece it together and how to build a log cabin home. Within a year or two, this man had a home that was fit for his wife and his kids that he built himself by himself. <clears throat> okay? I watched a million videos of guys doing this and explaining their process, you know? And I would much rather do that, okay? Build a home for myself in two years instead of be homeless for seven years. I was homeless for seven years, trying to trying to make it through the system, trying to be make it from the system, the bottom up. Get a job at McDonald's, get a job at Tim Hortons, be a roofer, be a construction guy, get treated like a dog, get paid peanuts, <clears throat> just to pay your rent, to be broke after and be suffering and, and and have no money for food. You gotta go to the food bank. I've been doing that all my life. I've been doing that for fifteen years, and then I thought, bro. You could have just went to a piece of land, started growing vegetables and fruits and taking care of it and planning for the future in that land. <clears throat> started to build a log cabin home for you to live in, rent free, you know, and so I heard some. Anyways, um, I could have did all that. I could have built a house, built an ecosystem within three to five years by myself with no money, okay? Very little money. The only thing that <clears throat> some of these guys bought was one of those um, furnace heater things that, you know what I mean, that you, you heat, you heat the, the cabin up with, right? And you can cook on top of it, right? <clears throat> so it's your stove as well, right? And obviously, you know, with anything, right, it takes time, but you can develop it. You can, you can have, you, you can make it so you can have water, collect rainwater, or, you know, you, you, you can plan on where you're going to go near a lake where there's fish, where there's fresh water streams that aren't um, tainted, you know, um, and you know where the source is coming from and, and, and so on and so forth, right? I could do that within two to five years by myself with maybe a thousand dollars most you know what i mean and i've seen it happen you know i've watched the videos and these guys were like all i did was spend three hundred dollars on the furnace you know or whatever you know the stove the wood stove and he built the log cabin home and all the other stuff he got from the trash or he cut it down and and, and started to structure it with that with not having any experience you know, just having some tools. So you're going to have to spend a couple hundred on some tools, a couple hundred on uh, on uh, the heater thing. You know what I'm saying? And we're talking about the difference in between working for 20, 30 to 40 to 50 years to get a to get a house for 400000 to a million dollars and it enslaved, you become debted to that. You're, you're going to die before you pay that house off. You're going to die before you pay that house off. You're telling me you think that that's normal? <laughs> In fucking two to five years, I could have built my own house that I could have a family and that would be fit and suitable for a family. Over a period of time, I could continuously add to that. And and let's just say, like, yeah, you got to spend a little bit more than $1,000. You know, <clears throat> we're talking about maybe a couple grand. Worst case scenario, we're not talking about 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 100,000, 200, 400, 500, 1 million dollars. Because it's going to be that bare minimum anywhere you go to try to get it. You're going to, you're enslaved, bro. Like, you don't get it. You could have a good life. You would have a good life. I would have much rather have worked in that manner, in that fashion, for that, in that way. Because that's rewarding. <clears throat> than to work for 20, 30, 40, 50 years get paid peanuts, hate my life, be enslaved to the system, hardly be able to get by, right? All for nothing, just to die, you know? And it's going to shorten my lifespan, too. 
you know, that type of a lifestyle is going to extend your lifespan. Okay? So you're getting ripped off in the worst way and you only got one life. People are such under such a delusion that they can't understand this. So <clears throat> they get mad at the homeless guy and say, you're a bum, get a job because we're pissed because we're enslaved. The Bible and God did not want you to work these jobs. These jobs belong to Satan. The system that gave you, issued you the sin number is Satan's system. It's the devil's system. Okay. It's to extort you. Okay. It's to enslave you. And they say a happy slave is a slave that doesn't know that they're a slave. Okay. So they've mastered slavery, right? There were times where slavery was real, not just for, you know, African Americans, natives, you know, all different races, you know, have been enslaved, even including the white man, even though, yes, I know the white man was pretty much the devil. Okay, I, I know we're not getting into that. We're not talking about that. I know Jesus wasn't white. I get all that. We're not talking about that. <clears throat> but <clears throat> point blank period is that worst case scenario in five years, I could have land near a lake where I can fish, get gather my own food, hunt. And I know it's not that easy, okay? I know I'm not stupid, right? But it's a lot easier than to do it through the, the satanic system that you work under, connected to a sin number and a birth certificate. I'm telling you, it's going to take your entire life. You're going to, you're not even going to pay the house off before you die. The majority of people don't, <clears throat> okay? And you're working for nothing. It's a waste of your life. You could have done it differently, and but the government will not allow this. So I spent seven years homeless for no reason. You know what? If, if the government allowed me, I would have went to a piece of land. I would have started developing a garden, even if I'm not living there yet, right? I could, bro, I lived in a tent for seven fucking years, <clears throat> okay? <clears throat> in a city where people are stealing my shit, you know, where by law the city's throwing my tent out with all my clothes in it. The city did that to me. And then I try to go to a shelter and they're all full. And they're all full of people that are on drugs. And I'm sober and I'm homeless trying to make it out. And if I leave my tent, it gets stolen. So I can't even go shower. And I can't get up and go to work from the tent. Because when I come back, my tent's going to be gone. I'm going to have nowhere to sleep. Also, if you go to work, you don't get to shower. Because you either get to work or you get to shower. Because the public places that you can go to shower, which are really dirty, <clears throat> are only open until, you know... They're open in the hours that you need to be at work. Oh, well, work night shifts. Yeah, okay. Work night shifts in a tent. Come on, bro. Be realistic. Let's not be stupid, right? But anyways, I'm not. that's not the argument, okay? You guys are blaming homeless people. You don't realize the government has enslaved us and created this disaster, okay? And you want to blame the individual. The system turns us all against each other, okay? This is a very complex system that has been unraveled over a thousand years. This is not just something you can identify <clears throat> in your little small hundred years of life if you even get that which you most likely won't so again we bought into a lie and this is not this is not any way of life this is no way to live okay that's why everybody hates everybody <laughs> and hates their lives and they're all pissed off okay <clears throat> because we're on slave okay but you blame the homeless guy Bro, the 15 years, 7 years in BC I spent homeless. 15 years in total. The first time I was homeless was when I was 14. I'm 31 years old. Today. Okay? <laughs> People didn't have to go through that before. They could just literally cut some... Yo, can I borrow your, your axe? Can I borrow your uh, chainsaw? Can I... Uh, I'll give you labor. I'll work... I'll plant for you all day. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll clean up, I'll rake, I'll do whatever you want. I just need to use some tools so I can go and cut up some logs. Oh, you know how to do that stuff you've already built? Okay, yeah, well, I'll trade you labor for you to help me learn how to do this. And once you learn how to do this, you've learned how to build a home. You're worth a billion dollars now. You're worth a million dollars. You could literally go and build log cabin homes yourself and sell them. You know what I'm saying? Bro, you become an asset to yourself. You don't need a boss. You don't need a, a SIN number or somebody to work for in order to get peanut dollars. That's going to take you 50 years to get to this point. You could have did this all yourself. Held the power in the asset. You are the asset. And then nobody can ever take it away from you. 
you got your land, you got your home, you got your food sources, your ecosystem that you've developed over the last five years when you were homeless. I would have went every single day to my piece of land, pitched my tent, pitched my hammock, every day woke up, plant stuff, garden, harvest the land, work on the land, cut trees down, skin them, keep learning, 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 learning. We have access to the internet. I could be all day at the library learning all this stuff and then go to my, go out into the bush. You know, do if I have to, yeah, I'll work for, for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I'll work for a little bit, get what I need to start this process and then start the process. And I'm only going to spend very minimal amounts of money doing it. And I can have such a great, huge reward that's going to last you, you know? And then now you know how to build log cabin homes. You know how to build ecosystems you know how to harvest the land you know how to be independent without the government they don't want you to be independent away from them because then their pyramid scheme no longer produces and generates income for them you have to play a part of it you have to work for their dollar under their system under their sin number under their tax enslavement so they can grow and grow <clears throat> and feed you a lie so you think that the government's your friend. <laughs> like, bro. <sighs> and you, you want to blame the homeless guy? No, man. No. The system did that to me. I stayed homeless because the system is designed to keep you homeless. So that they can continuously generate income and ask for donations and fundraise millions of dollars. So they, they can pocket it. And then the homeless people are still stuck there. And then everyone's like... Yo, these guys are lazy. They don't want to do anything. And the system's like, yeah, that's why. Yeah. Yeah. And, oh, yeah, by the way, they're living off your tax dollars. The welfare disability. They turned you, bro. They're turning us against each other. You do, you're worried about the homeless guy? About your fucking tax dollars? But you don't realize the government takes your, <laughs> extorts you through taxation, takes that investment in, in the stocks, and fucking makes millions of billions and trillions of dollars off of your fucking money. You know what I'm saying? The bank takes your money, invests it, makes, gets rich off your money while you're working for peanuts. You're so stupid, you're so fucking dumb, you don't even know how the bank works. You don't even know how the fucking, how this shit works. Bro, <clears throat> it's an illusion. And we were never meant to be working these jobs. So for people that try to use what the Bible is saying, which I agree with, you know, not to be lazy, to work, to hard, you know, but it's not to work for this system. We are not to be, we live in the world, we're not supposed to be a part of the world. We live in it, we're not supposed to be a part of it. Working under a sin number for a dollar in this system is being a part of it. You're already in the wrong with God. And you think you're in the right, oh, I'm working and you guys need to get a job and I'm all prideful and I'm boasting and you guys are lazy and you bums. Get a job, you homeless guy. I hate my life. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Because <clears throat> that's how it is. You know, all this pride and ego, and you think you figured it out, <laughs> you're enslaved, and you're also doing the opposite of what God intended for you, because he didn't intend for you to work for the system under that dollar, under that sin number, I promise. You may have had to do that for a period of time to gather a little bit of money to start this process, to be independent, and, and, and pave your way through that, but you end up getting trapped. Now you have responsibilities, now you got bills, now you got rent, now you got a family. You can't just switch the game up. You're stuck. And it's built that way to do that to you, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> I don't know why people hate me so much and they don't, everybody disagrees with whatever I say. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm crazy, you know, whatever. I'm, I'm a loose cannon, whatever, you know. I'm just real. That's all it is. You know what I mean? I'm just spitting the facts. You know, and people are so... Um, upset that they've bought into this slavery, into this delusion, that it's become a mental illness for them in order to cope. So that mental illness, you know, one of the, the characteristics of that is hating and disliking people that aren't working or that are homeless and blaming it on them. Meanwhile, you're getting extorted through taxation, you're being enslaved to a city, you're being forced to have to do it through them. They're the plug, they're the mob, the mafia. You can't do nothing outside of them or you get punished. That's not freedom. <clears throat> not even close. We could all live off the land. There's enough. Water's free. Food is free. Everything is free. You can just grow it. You can plant little seeds. You can have find joy in coming out to your garden every day. Picking some healthy things. You know. 
with the fish that you just caught in the lake, with the deer you just hunted, fresh meat, non-GMO, non-altered, non-farmed, natural, clean, the way it was intended by God. Okay, that is the correct way to live. That is the correct life, biblically and naturally. Everything else is a lie, and it belongs to Satan, the devil. It's evil. It's enslavement, entrapment, extortion through taxation. And it's, and it's a tragedy. And everyone's stuck in it. So because they've accepted it and they can't get out of it now, they hate you. If you're, if you're not enslaved too, they, it makes them mad, you know, it makes people mad. It does. And they've tried to come up with all these justifications and to try to condemn you for not working, saying you're lazy and this and that, when that's not even the case at all. Once you end up on the other side of the fence and you become homeless and feel the wrath of the system and you identify that it's actually designed in a way to keep you down and you're a sober homeless person and you're trying to make it out, but it won't let you, that's a nightmare. <clears throat> That's when you know you're under attack. That's when you know the system is not for you. <laughs> That's when you know it's corrupt. That's when you find out everything's broken in society and their views and their perspectives and everybody thinks that they're so right and they're so wrong and they've been turned against each other. People have been turned against each other, which is ungodly, <clears throat> which is unnatural, you know? Look at what happens when people can come together. We can build empires together, you know? <clears throat> Anyways, it's way quicker, way easier to go to a piece of land, grow food, hunt, build a log cabin home, and keep developing. Your years are being used properly and most efficiently and effectively and correctly, naturally closest to, to our roots, to where we were supposed to be. The reason why I have sicknesses, mental illnesses, diseases, and all these other problems in life is because we are so far away from our roots and what and how we're supposed to live naturally of course you're going to get cancer if you were enslaved and you were under this type of a system and, and actually it oppressed you so far to the point where you've accepted it as this is the right way to be everyone else that's not doing it through the system is a piece of shit and they're a bunch of bums and they're lazy and they need to get a job and fuck the homeless they're the problem those people are sick, mentally ill people, and have inherited a delusion to justify and cope with the enslavement that they're enduring because they have no choice now. <clears throat> right. Okay. Just, just, just blame the homeless guy though. 